Good morning. For those of you who've been following my vlogs, you know that I've attempted to go to church and church-related activities for the past like week and a half. And I'm excited to say that I am finally doing a church activity, which is volunteering. I'm gonna be volunteering with the church kids today, which I'm really looking forward to. I love being around little kids. I used to do a ton of babysitting and nannying and um, just love their energy. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, an interesting experience to say the least. I'm also super tired. It's 10.30 but I got up at 8.45 without getting eight hours of sleep. So feeling very tired and looking forward to having some coffee before the kids arrive. I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I started getting into the habit because a lot of my church friends and they actually have coconut creamer at my church. So I'm probably gonna indulge in that to help wake me up. from volunteering at church and I am utterly exhausted. It's about 2 p.m. about to take a nap because I probably got like five or six hours of sleep. Did I mention that earlier? That's how tired I am. I cannot quite keep track of what I'm saying today. I'm you know I'm realizing that I really need to prioritize sleep for adrenal health, for overall mood, for maintaining my body, like everything. Um, because I am so irritable right now. And, you know, I woke up with that feeling of like, <sighs> the really extreme, but I wanted to hurt somebody because I was so tired this morning. You know that feeling when you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I am angry that I have to get out of bed right now. Like, that's how I felt. And I was able to shake that enough, obviously, to be present of uh, volunteering and with the kids. Um, but I'm not 100% like my best self. And uh, I just like feel impatient and <sighs> triggered by things. And yeah, so the solution is to get more sleep. So it's gonna start with a nap and that's gonna do my best to schedule out the week so that I get at least eight hours of sleep each night, eight or nine. And um, there's just a lot of changes that I want to start to make. So I need you guys to hold me accountable, or I, I could that would be helpful to me if you're open to it. And uh, before I take my nap, I'm going to have a quick snack. And then later tonight, I'm going to be going out with my friend Ross um, to dinner. So, yeah, okay. Snack, then sleep. Got to happen now. Last night, I tried this uh, Calm formula from that company, Wojo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the end of yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this today. It's really hard to tell if it works because it, I took it last night before bed and now I'm taking it before a nap, but it can't hurt. And this is the gluten-free vegan Ethiopian dinner. My friend Ross, who you may have seen in my videos when Kopi's in town, we're at a place called Rahel's. And this is the gluten-free vanilla cheesecake. Back from dinner. It was so nice. I feel surprisingly good after eating Ethiopian food. Sometimes that really messes with my digestive system, but I feel okay. And I was trying to like pace myself and not overeat. So I feel probably like 90% full. I'm trying to get better about eating to 80% fullness. Um, Cause sometimes my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Oftentimes my eyes are. <laughs> and uh, the cheesecake was really good too. And I actually did not eat the entire thing either. So 
give myself some credit for that. Um, then we went to this market. I didn't document it at all. I did a little bit on Snapchat, but um, there's this great market in LA called Air One. I love going in there. And I got, did I put it in the fridge? I have to go check. I got this really cool drink that I'd been eyeing. Let's see. No, I did not. Where did I put that? I came in and was so excited to see Evie that, oh, here it is. It's in my purse. Okay, good thing I remember this. This is a nitro matcha tea. I don't know if I will vlog this when I try it tomorrow. Definitely don't want to have it now, but um, I will probably snap it. I'm really curious about this. I don't really understand what it's all about, but I love matcha and I love trying new beverages. I've actually been thinking of like doing a lot more videos about beverages because it's one of my favorite things. And Kobe, my friend from Vegetorials, who's the reason I know Ross, who I went to dinner with, um, she's really into beverages too and we're thinking of doing this collab. I actually mentioned that in a vlog, didn't I? So we're planning that beverage collab. So uh, I was going to tell you something. Oh, you know, I just finished going through reading and responding to a bunch of comments from the last few days. And I want to continuously thank all of you for being so active and supportive. Um, I actually learned a lot from comments on the video where I was talking about thyroid stuff. And uh, I found lots of good articles and books and resources for that, which I'm really excited to look into. But in the moment, I feel a little bit overwhelmed and frustrated because it's like, this unexpected health question where I didn't realize that I had a potential health challenge, another one, and it's like on top of the stress I'd been feeling, I'm like, great, you know, like I thought it was coming out of the stressful time and now I feel a little bit more stressed. Um, you know what I mean? Like when you've been going through a hardship and you're like, oh, I'm finally through it. And then like something else happens immediately after that. And you're like, really? Like where, why can't I catch a break? <laughs> but you know, it all might be interrelated. Um, it's tough too. Like, you know, I'm sharing so much of my life. I'm being so transparent and vulnerable. And I honestly could be even more transparent and vulnerable. I don't feel entirely ready for that yet because I'm really afraid of being misunderstood and I definitely feel misunderstood in some comments you know a great number of you I would say the overwhelming number of you are very supportive and you're rooting for me and letting me know that you're there and and some people are trying to help but sometimes the helpful comments can feel like well you should try this you should try this you should try this and that's great but you know people suggesting that I should go see a psychiatrist and I've done that before um, people saying just go to see an endocrinologist and it's like I don't I, I appreciate and understand why people are saying it and I'm asking for help right um, but sometimes when you ask for help it's like a slippery slope because everybody kind of has their different opinions and experiences and suggestions and and that can feel overwhelming and you know, unless I'm I'm talking to a doctor, like you have to take most advice with a grain of salt because we're all so different and we all have our own experiences and filters and all of that. So, um, you know, I don't know. It's like I'm trying to speak really freely about my experiences, but sometimes it's hard to read uh, comments because it's not like a back and forth. It's like I'm speaking through video and then somebody's responding and I'm just reading their text and trying to interpret what they're saying and then I respond you know I don't know it's just it's it's such a <laughs> it's such a uh, interesting system like I feel like one day since we have all this live video right now I wonder if that's gonna turn into like a two-way thing right like instead of this one-way thing of people just watching others on YouTube like recorded stuff like what if we can respond through video to people so that they can really understand what we're going through. Like, I feel like that would cut back on a lot of the negativity, but who knows? Or misunderstandings, at least. It's also hard because, you know, to document this, this challenging time in my life, um, I just, as I keep saying, like, feel so vulnerable. And, um, yeah, like, it, it feels nice to get support, but I... I 
it's like airing my dirty laundry almost. <laughs> You know, and like I get concerned. I'm like, oh, if one day I look a little bit more inflamed than others, like people are gonna think that, blah blah blah. Like I just get wrapped up in in the perception of it all sometimes. But I just have to let that go. I think that's part of being brave. Is just like I am more what I am today, and every day is a brand new day. And um, I'm also trying to stand as as someone showing like that it's, life isn't always perfect and life isn't always easy and Instagram worthy and Snapchat worthy and a perfect well-produced YouTube video you know that's kind of what I've wanted to do with my career all this time but I just I don't feel like that's really getting to the truth of who I am and who anybody is and um, you know it feels like embarrassing to have like a health thing and it feels embarrassing when like you know, I look inflamed or something like right now I'm trying to find that balance for all, all sorts of things um, in my, with my health. It's like I am trying to enjoy my life and I'm trying to get all this work done and it's like there it's just a lot to balance and I, I now I feel like I can really understand people that feel overwhelmed and feel like they can't get it all done because it really is challenging and so you know like I want to get sleep so let's say I want that eight to nine hours of sleep but that requires me planning to get to bed on time and waking up and if I don't plan then that means that I have to make sure that the rest of the day um, allows me like today I felt so irritated that I decided to volunteer this morning because I didn't get that amount of sleep so I took a great three-hour nap um, but I'm still really exhausted right now. So I'm gonna, my my goal is to get in those eight hours of sleep every night this week and just like make that a habit. My goal is to get back into working out. I didn't work out the last few days, so I just feel weird about that. My goal is to like not eat any gluten and no exceptions and like really understand the thyroid thing and like not eat any foods that upset my stomach like you know I almost didn't want to go get Ethiopian food tonight because even though it's gluten free I'm so sensitive to legumes and it's like is my stomach gonna be a wreck is my body gonna be inflamed like it's really just requires a lot of planning and that's that's like the solution to anything so it's overwhelming in this moment but I think what I'm gonna do right now is to just sit down and plan out my whole week and make sure that all my health priorities get taken care of. And I need to make a plan to go see a doctor, even though I feel really resistant to that, because like, I'm afraid that I'm gonna have a bad experience, or I'm ex afraid that I'm, yeah, like sitting in a waiting room, and like I'm afraid that I'm gonna have some doctor that doesn't care about me, and like isn't gonna do the right tests, and I'm afraid that like uh, they're gonna, the tests aren't going to be covered by my insurance and I'm going to be left with this huge bill that I didn't expect. Like, There's a lot of fear for me around going to the doctor and I, I know some people think, well just go see a doctor. Like, It doesn't feel that simple to me right now. I'm afraid of the time and the money and I'm afraid of bad experiences and um, that's part of why I just like want to try to figure it out on my own. But I also really value my health of course and I don't I don't want to screw it up and I think part of the thyroid thing that feels scary to me and I think with my appearance too sometimes like when I feel like I look inflamed um, I'm afraid that that is gonna be perceived as I'm not taking care of myself and I don't know what I'm talking about and like you know who's gonna ever want to listen to me because if I can't take good care of my own health and like what is my advice worth like not that I'm trying to be like this health expert really I I love sharing what I learn about health but it's still like this fear that people aren't gonna take me seriously or people are gonna look down on me or something and that's part of the big vulnerability of doing these vlogs but I feel like the, the pros outweigh the cons and um, I guess I just got to get really clear on my mission with things and I've just got a lot to figure out you guys we all do and I think most people just aren't transparent I think most people 
want to be either perceived as having it all together or they want to hide away so nobody knows what's going on with them, no one knows how they're struggling and they either don't want help, or they want to figure it out on themselves or they just feel like they're a lost case and they want to hide away from the world. And the truth is, is like, I don't want to do that. I want to be the best person I can be. I want to help other people. I want to be transparent and authentic. And yeah, like it's tough, but I feel like it's worth it. So thank you again. I, I just can't thank you guys enough for, for watching and for being there and for, you know, helping me through this. And I hope that you're learning things along the way and I, I believe I've said this before like I often feel like the struggles that I've had in my life have been there so that I can help other people like that was the thing that Tony Robbins talked a lot about in his documentary which was like he turned the struggles from his childhood into a mission to help other people overcome whatever they're struggling with and I I really feel similarly I think that's why I'm drawn to someone like Tony um, is that I don't want other people to struggle with their health. I don't want other people to struggle with their emotions. Um, I want people to make the best decisions for themselves, for the body, for the planet, for other people. Like we really can, and we can do this together so much faster. So, because we can all take our collective information and just, you know, be a positive, bright light on others. So. Uh, your support to me is as meaningful as, as I hope my support is to you. And, um, yeah. So, here's to vulnerability. Here's to being real. Here's to doing this together. And here's to loving each other and being a positive, bright light in a world that can often feel scary and negative and, and fake. <laughs> That is it for tonight. I'm going to keep reading this great book, which I cannot wait to do my video on later this week, so stay tuned for that. It's awesome. And um, I'm going to plan out my schedule so that I can make sure that my health is a huge priority. All right. Until next time. Bye, guys.